of the skin temperature probe. Mm -hmm. First off today, we have our little crown. Now we'll do our input. We want to measure where we want to stimulate. But first, let's connect up the input. And then the crack. Now let's turn on the machine. Oh, I've got a signal coming in. See that? <laughs> Again, all right, let me see that. There's another one. Let's put it back on. Oh, so that completes that nerve. Now we're going to go on to the next one. And this time, we want to shift the arm. Okay. Now we've got the nerve on the other side of the arm to work on. Finally, so I take it it's not that painful. No. no. That means you have a high pain tolerance. 
Actually, I get the same sensation if, if I bump or my wrist gets caught, you know, gets hit. Yeah. I get that same sensation. And I, it's just kind of funny. That's the, when you try to describe that sensation right there, it's next to impossible to, to explain to somebody. Average the signal to find the best waveform in here. We just sent the error, so now we're going to do the same thing the other way. That's the median such an error, that is. That's the one that actually goes through the carpal tunnel? That's why it's affected by. That makes you feel that sensation. Yeah. Also, why the pinky typically isn't doesn't go numb. Yeah, because most of the time on most humans, it, it doesn't reach over that far. Although we have lots of variation. And on this one, I'm going to move the table over here so you can let your hand go. Relaxed. Stored that, and now we're going to work on the other side. Now, do you need to repeat this uh, same process for the other hand? Correct. Okay. Then we have two more, and then we'll be switching around head to feet and feet to head so that we can work on the other arm. And we'll map it as it comes off the other side again. And that's how we do it.